Okay, we got here the uh, Icon Flybile System Review. We got it all uh, ready to program here. So, come on over here and take a look. We've got the general instructions here. You can either click the arrow to go on to the next step or come up over here. Come up over here. You select your um, the, the type of receiver, whether it's a PPM, SUM, DSM2, DSMX standard receiver, Futaba S bus or S bus 2, or anything like that, and then the whatever that one is. Uh, you're gonna come over here. This gives you your receiver configuration. I've got the DSMX, so we'll plug one and two into there. We'll plug servo one, two, three, and four. Four is tail. Three, one, two, and three are your cyclics, and then your throttle for the ESC. If you're going to use governor, you'll plug it in right here on the other side. Come to the next setup. And here, basically, you're going to take your radio, and you're going to push it to the right until that number right there reaches green. Try it out at 100. 100 wasn't fast enough for me, so I put it up to 104, and that seemed to work pretty good for me. So that's what I have. And in this setup, you're also going to want to watch your swash plate here in sync with the radio. You want to make sure, you know, you put your stick forward, it's going to go forward, back it comes back, and so on and so forth. And then you're going to have to disengage the pinion in, and uh, the thro for the throttle, because you got to put your throttle up, and that will make the motor spin to calibrate the throttle. Here you choose your, your uh, cyclic servos, whether it's analog, digital, or high-end digital. These are 200 hertz for the frequency, so it's going to be high end. And then the tail is a 760 pulse rate and a 560 hertz. Swatch plate here, you select your swatch plate type. Looking at it from the front. And here you, um, you, you either, you do two things in this, in this, um, servo 1, 2, and 3 right here. You take your servo 1, your servo 2, and your servo 3, and you come over here, you put your stick at center, so you have a big dead band right there, right in the center, and you make your servo horns 90 degrees straight across. You also want to make sure your swatch plate is level. Personally, I don't use a swatch plate leveler because I think it's too much work to rip the head off just to level the swatch. I do it by eyeball and it comes out perfect every time. If you can't do that, then get a bubble level and a swatch leveler, and you'll be all set. And then you're going to want to put a digital pitch gauge on, and line up your blades parallel. Level your pitch gauge right on the back here. Put your pitch gauge on, get zero pitch at center stick. So right there, you're going to want zero pitch. And then full negative, it's up to you. I personally fly with 12, 12 and a half. So I set it to about 12 on the bottom and the top. You want even number on both sides. It's just like setting up any fly barless unit. And then with the cyclic, that's your limit. You want to go all the way in every which way of the stick and make sure there's no binding. If there's no binding, you're all set. And then after that, you want to make sure your swatch plate is going in the right direction, like forward and backward. If your swatch plate is going up and down, or like this, or like something like that, really weird, you're going to want to press the servo reverse button right there. This is the most complicated part of the setup, and it's really not that complicated. And then this is your tail, same thing, your correction direction, you know, you want to make sure that's all good, and how much your tail moves. You want to make sure your tail moves the to, right to the end so you get the maximum amount of throw. And then here, basically you're going to look at it from the front and tell the icon which way the wires are facing and which orientation the icon's sitting. And then you're going to press the set level button with it on a level surface. That tells the icon what's level. This is your governor setup. I don't use this. But gear ratio, you can come to the calculator. You can say how many teeth are on the pinion, how many teeth are on the main gear, 
and press OK, but I'm going to press Cancel because I'm using the Castle Gov. And then you're going to enter your three head speeds. Right here is your governor gain. Right here is your throttle, how much throttle you want. And whether you're using a magnet detected or your governor engaged. Right here, you're going to click on whatever size hill you have. 250, 450, 500, 600, or 700. If you have an 800 size, like a T-Rex 800 or a Goblin 770, click on 700 and then just up those a little bit. Up the numbers right here. Um, basically, you click on either one of these that you want. Hard 3D, Hardcore 3D, Sport, or Beginner. I didn't even do that. I just... I, I know what I like from my uh, cyclic gain and my agility, so I just went ahead and did that for all three setups. And right here, I'm, these two setups are the same, and they're assigned to my auxiliary switch, auxiliary 2. So see, if you, if you set this up right, you'll move this down, and that moves to setup 2. And I move it down again and it moves to setup 3. In setup 3, as you can see right here, I have auto level set up. Alright, for the next video, guys, we'll get back to you in the advanced setup menus of the icon. Have a good day.